All right, so as I teased in a video I just did talking about the knives that I'm most excited about from SHOT Show, this video is going to be the opposite end. This is gonna be the video talking about the things that, or the knives that I saw that are not so exciting. And a lot of them were unfent. A lot of them were unfortunately bench maids. And unfortunately, the thing that I saw as a super reoccurring trend in SHOT Show, especially from Benchmade and a handful of other makers, which we will address, is the use of premium materials skyrocketing the price of the knives. And unfortunately, we saw this a lot with CPM Magna Cut, which is a steel that's been around for, I think now at least a year, but maybe a couple years. It's uh, featured on this Hogue Deca for me. Um, and there are multiple knives like the Protec, Protec Mordax that come to mind immediately that feature this steel. And a lot of hype has been generated around the performance of the steel. Now for me, I'm gonna make a video individually on Magna Cut. I don't really think it's the bee's knees. I do like having, having an example of it in my collection just so that I can stay relevant and provide my own personal information on different performances of steels. That's why I have a wide variety of different steels in my collection. But for me, the biggest thing that I disliked, especially like I was saying from Benchmade and from surprisingly Buck Knives, is that they slapped some custom scales or sometimes like the CLA, the new CLA from Benchmade, um, they just upgraded the steel, changed the color of the handles, and slapped a fat price tag on it. And I do understand that, you know, inflation is causing everything in this world to go up. And so we see this in things like gas, we see it in housing, vehicles, everything is getting more expensive. But at the same time too, I feel like Benchmade, especially with their drastic price increases, is trying to take advantage of a lot of brand loyalty and a lot of brand or consumer trust. And essentially, I don't think that this is going to be a good look, look for Benchmade in the end of ends because when they come down to it, users will realize after they buy, especially Benchmades, that the value equation is just not there. And once again, I'm not trying to specifically target the Benchmade, but even the new Buck 110 in Magna Cut with its fancy titanium handles, the value equation isn't there for that knife. And what I mean by this is when you look at it as a $400 knife, at $400, you could buy a used, well-loved Chris Reeves Sabenza, which has similar or comparable steel, similar and comparable handle materials, but the fit, the finish, and the overall workmanship on a Sabenza, even a used Sabenza, is going to be leagues above production knives. Because when we go into things like Sabenzas, even though I'm not the largest fan of Chris Reeve, uh, their fit and finish, their process, the way that they make their knives, is still a mid-tech or semi-custom. So you're talking about something like the Buck 110 is still going to be a full production knife. The Benchmade knives, even the gold class knives, are still going to be full production knives. Don't let them try to tell you in any fancy, you know, uh, marketing, because I think I heard like through the grapevine that they were talking about, you know, like how they still hand finish their knives. Guys, they don't hand finish these blades. None of the bench maids that I've had, except for maybe this skirmish here, have actually been hand finished by bench made. So this ends up becoming, you know, a little bit misleading where people are thinking that they're getting a really high quality mid-tech blade for mid-tech prices. But the reality is people like Benchmade and Buck in that case are trying to take advantage of you and kind of try to swindle you out of money that you could invest into another knife. And even talk about it moreover, the new um, Benchmade that they re revealed, gosh, I cannot remember its number, but uh, the one that's like $522, you could, once again, that is easily Benchmade, or sorry, Chris Reeve Sabenza prices. You could easily get into a Sabenza, like a 31 um, with titanium handles for that price. And once again, it is going to be a much, much better knife for the price. And so this is where it really kind of boils down to in previous videos I've talked about, like making sure that the value equation of your knife adds up. Now there is, you know, some degree of variance in this when we begin to talk about full customs, which I'll just kind of tease this guy here. You know, when you, you come to a full custom like this Gavco nurse here, obviously, this is a very expensive thousand dollar knife and 
you know, the value equation is a little bit different. This from sheer material standpoint is not going to be exactly worth a thousand dollars. You're buying this for alternative reasons and a full custom has a little bit of a different um, price kind of structure to it because you're not just buying a knife based off of its, you know, sheer value that it offers you. You're buying it for other reasons and those other reasons aren't necessarily bad it's just that's a full custom marketed as a full custom and these are production knives marketed as production knives so the price for a full custom is going to reflect its custom nature these once again are not hand finished a full custom will be hand finished hand ground and there's going to be a lot more end time that the maker put into that blade these knives all these knives you see here except for maybe the sng really have very minimal if no end um, can, end creator or manufacturer time spent on them like an individual person might have qc'd all of these knives but there was no one there hand you know, putting in that bevel or grinding in that bevel. Whereas a full custom, the time is spent. And so a lot more time and money goes into a full custom and you're paying full custom prices out of respect to, or as a desire to own that knife that was made by hand, or at least in part by hand, by an individual singular person. So like I said, the pricing structure for full customs is different than production knives and even mid techs as a whole. But the core thing here is these knives are not worth it. And so really be cautious, even though there's going to be a lot of hype and likely some degree of peer pressure from influencers who likely get these knives for free to say, hey, you should go buy that new gold class bench made for $522. Guys, once again, the value is not there, and I can almost guarantee that unless you feel like lying to yourself, you're not going to be able to sit there and really say, wow, did I make a good purchase? Also, too, to address a slight meme that I saw in some of the EDC communities where they were smack talking zero tolerance or ZT versus Benchmade, ZT is much better than Benchmade any day of the week. You can fight me on that one. I just don't care. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless, and I'm out.